Whenever you're ready. Okay. Hello. Today I would like to inform you about the Yorkshire Terrier Pomeranian breed of dog. So there's two names that this breed can be called. The first name is a Uranian, and then the second name is Porky, so it's like the two names mixed together. Um, there are two kind of looks with this breed. The first look is a longer and fluffy-haired Uranian dog. So like you can see here, this kind of takes more of the, like, the Pomeranian side of the breed, and um, their hair is really soft. Um, and the second look that this breed has is a short and silky, so fair haired. Um, this takes more of the, the Yorkshire Terrier side, and this, I mean, um, and this hair is softer than the other one. Um, so the first thing I like to talk about is how it can be easy to have a Yorkshire Terrier Pomeranian mix. Dogs are never easy to have and take care of, but this breed can be. The first reason why these are easy to have is that they're very small, so their exercise requirement is very low, so you can just take them on a walk, you don't have to run, go to the dog park or anything like that. Usually bigger dogs need to go on runs because it takes more for them to exercise, but this dog just needs to walk. Um, so these dogs can weigh three to seven pounds, so they're very easy to transport, so you can just bring them in the car and they can go anywhere you want to go. Um, I take my dogs all the time. Um, so once this dog is trained, so every dog needs to be trained, but once this dog's trained, it responds very well to the training and it's very loving to the person that does the training. Now that I've talked about how, it's easy, how they're easy to have, let me tell you why they're a good choice to have as a pet. There's millions of breeds of dogs, but the Yorkshire Terrier Pomeranian mix is a good choice for a pet. The first reason why they're a good choice for a pet is they have a long lifespan, up to 10 to 15 years. So I mean, it's good that they live long because if they, you know, die, it's bad. Um, these dogs are very affectionate, loving, and protective of their owners. Um, so that's kind of the reason why we get dogs is because we want to have that connection with them and a little friend to have. Um, they aren't too hard to train, but once they are, I mean, it, they respond very well, like I said before. Um, these dogs are, very, are highly intelligent and they want to please their owners, so they tend to listen when you tell them what to do. Um, this breed of dog is recognized as an official mixed breed by the American Canine Hybrid Club, Designer Dogs Kennel Club, International Designer Canine Registry, and a Designer Breed Registry. So this, what this basically means is that you know what breed your dog is um, and you get the pedigree with the dog because some dogs you don't really know exactly what they are. I mean they can tell you what they are but this breed you know exactly what's, what it is. So now that I've talked about how they're easy to have, why they're a good choice to have as a pet, now I'll talk about some of the disadvantages with this breed. The Yorkshire Terrier Pomeranian mix is good to have but like any other dog there are some drawbacks. So the grooming requirement is very high with this dog, more so with the um, longer haired fluffy side of the dog, it sheds a lot and um, they need to get their nails clipped, they need, because they can't do it, um, obviously. And um, their hair gets really long really, really fast, so they need to get groomed more so than other dogs. Um, like I said, they tend to shed a lot, more so with a longer, fluffy haired dog. Um, these, this breed of dog is prone to low blood sugar, so they always need food available for them. So this means more dog food, more money each month. So that's kind of the only drawback. Those three, I mean, they're not that big of a deal, so I don't think there's a really bad disadvantage with this breed. Today I've talked about how it's easy to take care of a Yorkshire Terrier Pomeranian, how this breed can be good to have, and some disadvantages of owning this breed. Anyone who knows of the relationship with a dog, they all are fun, they're cute, they have their positives and negatives. That's what makes them dogs and fun to have. I fell in love with my two dogs, well, one, one passed away, but I can personally vouch for everything that I've informed you about, the exercise, the training, the loving and affectionate side of it. The Yorkshire Terrier Pomeranian breed is my favorite, and hopefully after gaining some information, you understand why this breed is a great one. Thank you. All right, comments? <laughs> Nick, were you going to do those comments? 
Is it not here? Yeah. Well, who else do we have that doesn't have any comments? Everybody did peer value peer evaluation oral comments? No. Well, I don't do oral comments. Well, why don't you do that now? I don't. Of course. Oh, that's because Kevin was not here. It's, he dropped. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, let, let me start with a couple of things that I thought were pretty good. Internally, it's pretty well organized. You've got a structure that uh, you're following, and there are excellent transitions between the points. They're a little mechanical, so they need to be, they need to flow a little bit more smoothly. You sound almost robotic sometimes when you're presenting them, and so the delivery hurts that. Uh, organizationally, I think you're pretty good there. On the other hand, there was no setup of that organization in the introduction, and I think the introduction needs a lot of work. You don't really have an attention device. You just basically start with the topic. The closest that we get to anything to draw us in is the pictures, and you really don't talk about the pictures until you're into the body of the speech. I think you needed to cite some more material. The only place where I got any reference to uh, some sort of uh, research was the explanation of what the registry is, and even then I wasn't quite sure that you were citing that information. Uh, the pictures are fine. They generate some interest. They explain a couple of the concepts that you're talking about. They don't add a whole lot to the information, but they aren't distracting, and I do think that they help you uh, make that organizational structure a little more useful. You know, I've got to agree I think the delivery is problematic. You're reading way too much. You have almost no eye contact. In the first couple of minutes of the speech, you had some interesting foot movements. You look like a ballet dancer getting up on point sometimes. Uh, I, that's all your anxiety coming out. I can see that. That's the way your anxiety is coming out there. So you want to have a little bit more control over that. All right. Thank you. Thanks.